my dear students good morning and uh, welcome to digital classes hope so you all are fine and taking due care of yourself this is unit 3 we are doing classification of elements and periodic properties of elements and today's topic is in the modern periodic table we will do the periodicity okay so before going to start the periodicity let's discuss the modern periodic table whatever we did once again i'm going to recapitulate so modern periodic table is also known as long form of periodic table it is given by basically henry moseley in 1913 according to him atomic number should be the ways of classification of elements in periodic table rather than the atomic mass okay it means that all the periodic table that we have done before this modern periodic table that is between dovenia neolands mendeleev all the periodic table was based on atomic mass that's why there was some limitations but in the modern periodic table as henry mosel uh has uh, expri- expressed that the atomic number found that the atomic number is becoming the more fruitful base of classification uh than the atomic mass okay so let's discuss the modern periodic table as we have already done the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic function of their atomic number it mean that in this particular periodic table the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic function of their atomic number on the basis of atomic number okay so the periodic table is made up of two basic things that is groups and periods there are 18 groups seven periods groups are made up of subshell or orbitals and periods are made up of shells or orbital as you know that groups are spdf in which two electron can came in s six electron can occupy in pd orbital 10 electron can occupy in d orbital 14 electron can occupy in f orbital okay in the similar way periods there are klmn so basically k periods two maximum two electron can be occupy 8 8 and l 18 18 in m and 32 32 in n so this already you did these are called magic number also so basically why periods are seven only because 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 because these are seven digits so these seven digits made this seven 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 periods so uh this so because of that there are seven periods now if we'll talk about groups two in s six in p 10 is in d whereas f is between the d okay so 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 8 8 plus 10 18 so that's why there are 18 groups and seven periods so i think hope so you understood basic reason about the seven uh, periods and 18 groups now let's discuss about the basic periodic table as in my previous video already we learned that how to make the periodic table how to draw the periodic table today we are taking the uh, basic information about the periodic table basic periodic table is made up of four blocks s block p block d block and f block in which first two group is made up of s block last six group is representing p block in between that 3 to 12 10 p groups may, uh, is representing transition element d block and in between that in front of 6 and 7 below third group there are 14 groups that is of f block which is called inner transition elements why it is called inner because it is in between the transition elements okay so let's discuss with the color with the color we are discuss so basically uh, the first period that is representing two element because in k there are maximum two ele- electron hydrogen and helium in this way l have 1 2 6 8 1 2 6 8 two time 8 8 then two time 18 18 then two time 32 32 where is 18 plus 14 is 32 okay so if we will take the groups now the information of groups should be there the group 1 is called alkali metals group 2 is called alkaline earth metal then these group 3 to 12 is called transition elements then group 12 is called boron family Uh, 13 is called carbon family sorry 13 is called boron family 14 is called carbon family 15 is called nicogen family 15 16 is called chalcogen family and the fluorine halogen family and the last one is noble gas family so by keeping these families in my in our mind you need to follow some strategies you need to make some method so as i have made we can learn these families member uh together because why we need to keep uh, these family member together let me tell you the best best contribution of this modern periodic table is that it made the study of element very easy because out of 100 element we need to keep each element according to its group because same elements have we uh, mean all the elements in the similar group have similar type of property common properties so that's why the like group 1 all the member of group 1 have one electron in outermost shell group 2 have two electron in outermost shell in this way three electron in outermost shell four in outermost shell then three it required two it required one it required and zero okay that is according to electronic configuration the uh, once you will understand the electronic configuration the modern periodic table is becoming very easy uh, yeah or i can say the once you will understand the modern periodic table then electronic configuration will come very very easy okay 
so how to remember these groups uh, just uh, again and again recall and remind and re learn with me that is like this way as i have kept halina ki rab se faryad halina ki rab se faryad beta mange car scooter baap roe then in this way baba ali gaye tel lene then uh, like this way chale shiv ganga sang parvati then newspaper aaj sab bikega then us se tepo then uh, fluorine chlorine bromine iodine nestatin to i have kept like this way you also kept then it, it is also very easy helium neon argon krypton xenon radon very easily so dear students one more thing that uh, information we are getting from modern toilet is that it is differentiated it is classified metal non metal and metalloid in separate way as very easy it is very easy to recognize all these green color whatever green color metals i have made box i made these all are representing metals these blue color basic elements are representing metalloid and these orange color all elements are non metal so in this way we can classify metal non metal and metalloid also is so these green color is known as metal these blue color are non metalloid and these orange color all elements are non metal okay so f block elements are also there so once when you come to know what is the periodic table now this periodic table help us to understand the basic properties of chemical and physical properties of elements and how these properties are interrelated to each other and what are the basic con comparison okay now after this we need to study basically today the periodicity property what is the periodicity it is the basic properties that we are going to relate what will happen those property down the group and along the period okay if i will get, tell the word down the group it mean that you have to see it is top to bottom if i will tell left to right then it mean that along the period from this side to this side okay like if i will talk about uh, atomic size so hydrogen to helium atomic size is decreasing whereas hydrogen to ferrium atomic size is increasing so it mean that down the group atomic size increasing and from left to right atomic size is decreasing why these are increasing and decreasing that reason also we are going to study so basically uh we will start the periodicity property from general electronic configuration or if i will say the general electronic configuration is the most important base just to understand the basic relation between all the elements from the same group okay so s block element these are s block elements these s block elements is written n s 1 2 n is number so suppose 1 1 uh, what is hydrogen uh, electronic configuration it will be simply like this way if we will find out the electronic configuration of hydrogen so hydrogen is present in in front of first period so n is 1 here below s1 so the configuration become 1s1 okay like this way if we want to find out the configuration of calcium so it is very easy we will see calcium is equal to in front of 4 so we will write 4 and below below s2 this is s1 this is s2 so it become 4s2 okay and before this we will write uh, noble gas argon so in bracket we will write argon 18 so it become 18 plus 2 total 20 so the number of uh, the atomic number of calcium is also 20 like this way you can find out the electronic configuration it is becoming very easy let's take one more example we will take example of oxygen let's take example of oxygen oxygen is in front of 2 so it mean that last configuration will be 2 and below p1 p2 p3 p4 so below 4 so it become 2 p4 and before that we need to write 2s2 and 1s2 so this is the configuration of oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 now total just for cross check total it 4 plus 2 6 plus 2 8 so this is 8 it is the atomic number of oxygen so like this way we can relate the atomic number with the electronic configuration and with the uh basic characteristics also okay so general characteristics general con configuration of s block is ns12 p block is ns2 first we will write ns2 then np126 n is what these are the number of n so d is n minus 1 d1 to 10 ns2 reason of n minus 1 is because in front of 4s if suppose this is 4s2 we have written if we will write scandium so we need to write 4 minus 1 3d these this line is of 3d this line is of 4d as there is 5 so it mean 1 n minus 1 d 1 to 10 and ns2 f is n minus 2 f 1 to 14 and n minus 1 d 0 to 1 ns2 so by keeping these general configuration in your mind we need to study about the basic periodicity of 
the property of uh, model credit table now in the next uh, part of this video we are going to compare the trends of periodic table now my dear students once we come to know about the basic uh, characteristics of modern periodic table now we need to discuss about the periodic trends in the properties of element it means that basic properties of periodic table the periodicity properties of modern periodic table is it is causes of periodicity it means that what are the basic causes of periodicity it is the repetition of the similar properties of element placed in a group and separated by a certain defin defin definite guess of a number it means that it is the repetition of similar property that is the best property that's, that is the best contribution of modern periodic table we are getting the repetition of similar property of element which is placed in the common group okay so there are basically periodicity properties we will talk the where there are basically these properties number 1 2 3 4 5 6 so in which first is atomic radii second is ionization enthalpy third is electron gain enthalpy fourth is electron activity fifth is oxidation state and sixth is atomic reactivity so let's start from the atomic radius generally three things we will discuss number one definition number two along the period what is happening down the group what is happening and the reason why it is uh, like this okay so first is atomic radius or ionic radius i can say so what is the meaning of atomic radius the distance from the center of nucleus from the center of nucleus to the outermost shell containing the electron well it can be covalent it can be van der waals it can be metallic radii that is called atomic radius okay it is very simple in math also radius word we you know it is the from the center point to the outermost line that is called radius so this radius is define deciding the shape of uh, the size of atom okay you know very well the size of atom is uh, hydrogen is small and lithium is bigger so sodium is bigger than that so why the size is in increasing down the group the reason is that number of shell is increasing okay so along the period atomic radii decreases from left to right and down the group atomic radii is increasing from top to bottom and this is because as we move down the group each element increase one shell whereas along the period the number of shell remain same okay second is ionization enthalpy you need to understand first word ionization ionization is what it is the minimum amount of energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron from the neutral isolated gas when any energy that required to remove the most loosely bound from metal that kind of energy is called and the energy enthalpy wherever enthalpy what is there that is energy okay and it is reverse reversible to atomic radius or you can say inverse to atomic radii if atomic radii is increase decreasing left to right ionization enthalpy is increasing left to right and down the group it is decreasing whereas atomic radii is increasing so that's why ionization enthalpy is inversely proportional to atomic radii okay uh, next is electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy it mean that this is non metal which is showing this kind of property because it is only non metal is gaining electron it is the change in enthalpy which takes place when a gas atom gain an extra electron when an a gas atom gains an extra electron to form monovalent anion there is a basic difference between electron gain enthalpy and electron activity is what in both the cases it is also becoming negative charge it also become negative charge after gaining electron to so both both is gaining electron but in this case it is gaining one electron to become monovalent anion whereas it is gaining electron to form a compound okay so the change in enthalpy which takes place when a gas atom gain an extra electron is called electron gain enthalpy along the period it increases like ionization enthalpy and down the group it decreases as ionization enthalpy all the three have similar property okay so electron gain electron negativity now it is a tendency of atom to attract it is also attracting electron to shared pair of electron in a chemical bond and along the period it increases from left to right it increases from left to right like electron gain enthalpy and ionization enthalpy and down the group it decreases from top to bottom okay next is oxidation state in oxidation state the valency equal to the number of electron it is present in the outermost shell or number of electron that an atom can lose or gain sometime you have seen so suppose if i take example of uh, example of um, sodium the so sodium have one positive charge reason because sodium configuration is 2 8 1 so this one extra electron sodium can donate to form any positive and to become uh, to become stable by configuration of 2 and 8 so that positive one is called the oxidation state of that atom okay so oxidation state is increasing when we are moving from left to right and it remains same from down the group okay next is chemical reactivity it is chemical properties there are basically three chemical properties i am going to share one pdf from there you can generally read these chemical property number one is diagonal relationship in which lithium is somewhere showing although we know very well that 
down which the same elements which is present what is diagonal property like uh, as we have studied that each element in a same group have similar type of property but sometime what is happening the lithium have similar property than the magnesium also lithium is behaving like a magnesium also beryllium is behaving like aluminium boron is behaving like silicon so this diagonal this diagonal you know about diagonal this is called diagonal this type of uh, uh, this type of relation is called diagonal so this is the diagonal relationship second is metallic and non metallic character as you know we have studied that the from left side all the elements are maximum elements are metals and right hand side maximum elements are non metal so it mean that when we move from here to here it mean that metallic property is decreasing so maximum metallic property is this side it mean these are most reactive metals these are less least reactive metals the metallic property is decreasing and after that non metallic property is increasing whereas down the group metallic property is decreasing uh, increasing and the non metal property is decreasing you can see here these are non metal but in the below there are metals so non metallic property is decreasing and metallic property is increasing whereas left to right metallic property is decreasing non metal property is increasing okay last property is reducing and oxidizing character reducing and oxidizing character those electron those metals which losing electron loss of electron is called oxidation and which is losing electron that is called reducing agent and on the other hand side oxidizing agent okay so let's conclude with the help of this diagram try to understand this side whatever line we have written this side this is period and below it is group so you need to focus on this arrow shape if arrow shape is there it means that increasing if this shape uh, tail is there that is decreasing increasing 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 decreasing similar way increasing decreasing 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 increasing if there is no arrow or no tail then it is same okay so let's discuss first electronic configuration electronic shell electronic shell when we move left to right it is not increasing not decreasing it remains same but when down the group we will go electron electronic shell is going to be increase second is valency as we move from left to right valency is going to be increase by 1 like 1 2 3 4 like this way up to 4 then after 4 it is minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 like this way. whereas down the group it remains same okay third property is atomic radii ionic radii we discussed the atomic radii ionic radii from left to right it is decreasing as it is tail here and top to bottom it is increasing why it is increasing because of increase in shell electron ionization enthalpy it is increasing it is opposite to atomic radii so it is increasing from left to right but decreasing from top to bottom same way electron gain enthalpy increasing left to right but top to bottom decreasing electron activity it increasing left to right but decreasing top to bottom metallic character it decreasing left to right but increasing top to bottom so sometime dear students most of the time the question is coming reasoning type question why uh, who yeah i i can uh, like somewhere question can be asked out of nitrogen and phosphorus which is more uh, ionization enthalpy so that time you should have these kind of correct properties okay so this is all about for today hope so you understood everything and uh, uh, you enjoyed this video with this our chapter 3 is finished and uh, once again tomorrow i am going to come live and in the live session we will clear our doubt and the test of this chapter chapter 3 is going to be there tomorrow in zoom live okay so for that purpose i would like to request you all of you be ready and mostly those student who are not be serious i am making their record now and uh, i am requesting again i am appealing them again please take these digital classes seriously and keep on watching these videos again and again okay thank you have a nice day and take care stay home stay safe and take care of your family also thank you thank you